I'm Greg Jarrett. You're in the strategy room. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton has faced opposition and criticism throughout her campaign in regards to the weekly release of WikiLeaks emails involving herself and her campaign. Some of the toughest criticism, though, seems to be coming not from Republicans, but the head of the Allied Center for American Progress, Neera Tandon. Although Tandon is rooting for Clinton, she is often seen sharing blunt and even profane assessments of Clinton's issues surrounding honesty. Is the criticism valid and will it affect Clinton in a deeper way as she approaches the general election in November? Here now to weigh in, Talk Media News Bureau Chief Ellen Ratner and columnist for the Fiscal Times, Liz Peek. Welcome to you both. Let me just Thank read you. one of the emails. This is September 2015, so a year ago, from near Tandon. She said, everyone wants her, meaning Clinton, Hillary Clinton, to apologize. Apologies are like her Achilles heel. Sounds like she really knows her well, doesn't <laughs> I think she does know her very well. Been involved with the Clintons for a very long time, a trusted aide. Uh, look, Hillary blew it when she first came out. Remember that UN address many months ago painful. now, painful address. Uh, to talk about her Clinton email problem, she never said she was sorry. She began this long spinning out of lies and half-truths about why she had the server, what was on it, what was the 30,000 emails she deleted, et cetera, et cetera. She never said she was sorry. And then in her first public interview, uh, I think it was with Andrea Mitchell, she said sort of she was, she was sorry that it had, it had made people confused or that it had confused people about certain issues. She never really said, hey, I'm really sorry I did this, because that would be admitting fault. And she said it was a mistake, but again, it was, it was uh, never really saying, I did something slightly underhanded. <laughs> She's never right. going to say that. So, you know, you know, Ellen, it's pretty remarkable. I mean, it, this is Center for American Progress, very liberal group. In fact, the, the first head of it was John Podesta. Uh, Neera Tandon is, is now the head of it. But um, here's another one of her emails. She, meaning Clinton, didn't seem like a, a, a the B word uh, in the interview and that she would get a full apology in a few interviews. What do you make of it? Listen, I think that she has said several times it's been a mistake. I read that as an apology. However, I want to say that Neera Tandon clearly was being a, you know, a, the loyal opposition in a sense. She's very loyal to Hillary Clinton, but she wanted to say what she felt and what she felt the viewers would feel or people watching or listening. Even though it listening. was disparaging of Hillary Clinton. That's right. But, you know, you can like somebody and think that they're still the best person for the job and be disparaging of one part of their actions. Nobody's perfect. Here's another one, August 2015. Clinton's inability to do a national interview and communicate genuine feelings of remorse and regret is now, I fear, becoming a character problem more so than honesty. Well, honestly, I think she should have been, you know, paid attention to by the campaign officials because the truth is they let this thing go on far too long. They did not demand exactly what she's asking for, which is a real out-and-out -out apology to the American people for having created this problem in the first place. Ellen's right. She said she made a mistake. That's not exactly saying she's sorry. As far as her description of Hillary's temperament, I do think it's interesting in this campaign that Hillary has made such a big issue of Donald Trump's temperament, and that is there for all of us to see. But she's the one who, after all, sent Bill Clinton getting stitches in his head because she threw a book at him. She's the one who tears into her staff with expletive-laden tirades about their performance. She is a tough cookie, and right. yes, sometimes she comes across as the B-word. She allegedly, allegedly threw a book at, at well, Bill Clinton yeah. way back when in the White House. Witnesses uh, say. Ellen, if it weren't for you know, the absolute deafening cacophony of noise surrounding uh, Donald Trump's groping scandal, might all of these damaging WikiLeaks emails be fatal to the Hillary Clinton campaign? Uh, perhaps, but uh, there's a lot on both sides here, and uh, I think that's what we're dealing with in this campaign. And I'm sure Liz, is, she's been around as long as I have or longer in terms of covering campaigns. Uh, I had another career first, but uh, I think, look, none of us have ever seen a campaign like this. It's like shocking.
It is. Isn't there anybody who's clean in <laughs> politics? Where's the, where's the next leader? Right? Ugh, makes yeah. you want to go take a bath. <laughs> uh, Liz, Ellen, good to see you both for complete Thank you. coverage of the Thank 2016 you. election. Go to foxnews.com. I'm Greg Jarrett. Thanks for watching.